how's everyone doing? So let me talk today about what we lose, we as in humanity, if we lose the performing arts. Now, I don't think that we're going to lose them, so I'll make that clear, but there's definitely going to be a diminishment and a, 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 a total reorganization, I think, of how, how we present them, at least in the near future. And, you know, the, the situation is very uncertain and fluid, and so I just wanted to say a couple things here about that. Um, to just add my idea to the pool of ideas of, of why we need to make sure the arts are funded to, to an extent. That's really what we're talking about, right? So there's this um, reality, historical reality of simultaneous discoveries. And I'll give you an example. So if Einstein hadn't discovered his um, theory of relativity, Heinrich Lorentz, another scientist like him, would have done it, right? He, he was right on his heels. So Einstein basically beat him and, and a couple others to it, to that discovery. Same thing you could say about mm, Charles Darwin and evolution. There were other scientists right on his heels that had he not done, made that discovery, they would have made that same discovery, right? Their work was, was parallel. And the same could be said for um, inventors of any of the technology that we see. So, for example, Larry Page and Sergey Brin, who invented Google, obviously, those algorithms and the way in which they organize that information. Um, I was in working, actually, in Silicon Valley at that time, and I remember hearing the conversations about this new type of search engine coming. So, but the point is, had they not done that, somebody else surely would have done that. And, um, one second, family is texting. Okay. So the same thing would go for, let's say, an invention like the light bulb. If Thomas Edison hadn't gotten there first, surely somebody else would have invented exactly that light bulb. Right? So we'd still have the lights that we have now, if not for them. But if Beethoven hadn't written the Ninth Symphony, would we have that symphony exactly? No. That's not even possible. Right? So that's, there's, there's a difference between, this is a difference between the arts, the performing arts in this case, and science and math, although there's a place for which they converge in a number of intellectual and philosophical ways. But, so, so in other words, if in, let's say in terms of education, if, we, if some child grows up with the talent to invent something, but for whatever reason, life takes them on a different path and they use their talent in another way, the chances are someone else is going to make that invention, right? But if Beethoven hadn't gotten into music, the Ninth Symphony never exists, or any of the rest of it. And this, this goes for Mozart and everybody else. So it, this to me is, I don't know of a better reason to really um, pay, uh, how do we say this? To, to really consider deeply why we need to make sure the arts stay funded to a certain extent. Now, obviously there is a, a load of nonsense in art. I'm not saying everything needs to be retained. No way. I mean, it, frankly, honestly, 90% of what gets created is disposable, you know, in my opinion. It doesn't, it, it, doesn't, it doesn't end up resonating with people anyway. And the only reason to, do, to, to create art is for people. This is my opinion, of course. This is my reason for doing it, right? I know there's this, this, this sort of ideas of, well, let's just create, I'm talking about the performing arts now, create performing arts for our own little group of people and, you know, screw the public. This was, you know, popular in the 60s, right? But at some point you, you find out very quickly that that's not a viable way to conduct your life. You, you can't afford to live like that. And what's the meaning in creating art for three people that agree with you? You know, why, put it into the world. Because there's a fear, right? Putting art into the world means you're going to find out if it's any good or not. You know, and this is debatable, obviously. This is a philosophical point. But anyway, I just want to make that, add my little voice to, to, to the choir of voices talking about why we need um, support for the arts. But we also need to be, I think, quite... Um, discerning about where we put those resources. As a society, I mean, we as a society. 
um, because sur surely the resources are uh, going to be in short supply and better to focus them where they're going to do the most good. And that's, you know, that's a difficult judgment to make, but it's makeable. So anyway, that's my thought on that.